everyone, it's Prue from Hepburn Libraries and welcome to our five minute science where we explore the concept of different scientific principles through fun and easy experiments that you can try at home. And the best thing is they only take about five minutes. All right, so let's get into today's experiment. Today we're going to be looking at the concept of buoyancy. So how well things float and we'll be looking at how gases can help us do that. So what you're going to need for this experiment is a nice tall glass. You're going to need some gas. Now I'm using today just some soda water. So soda water is just water that's had carbon dioxide gas pushed into it. So we're going to be using that today. And we're going to be trying a few different items to see how buoyant they are. So we've got some split peas, we've got some corn kernels here, some popcorn kernels, and something a little bit heavier, which are some sultanas, just to see how they go. So let's get started. Now, of course, carbon dioxide is a really, really common gas. In fact, it's one of the ones that we actually breathe out when we exhale. So soda water and in fact all the fizzy drinks that we enjoy are actually made from carbon dioxide so we'll pour a nice tall glass of that and you can already see those fantastic bubbles rising to the surface and popping now let's have a look at how they affect our different materials so let's pop in some popcorn kernels oh and you can already see look at that they're already rising to the surface. So what's happening is the carbon dioxide is attaching to the popcorn kernel and then carrying that popcorn kernel up to the surface with that gas. And then as the gas pops, the popcorn kernel then gets too heavy for the top of the water and starts to go back down again. So these popcorn kernels, because there's so much gas in the water, are taking a little bit of time to go down. Let's see if we can help them out there. And you can see that they'll start to go up and down. Now let's try some, let's try some split peas. Now these are a little bit lighter, so it'll be interesting to see how they go. Oh, they're going up and down already. So already those bubbles are taking them up to the surface. They're making them really, really buoyant. And you can see them going up and down as those bubbles pop. Up they go and back down again. Some of them don't make it all the way down to the bottom. They lose their bubbles and then they're too light and they still go back up. All right. What about if we try something a little bit heavier? I've got some sultanas here. Let's see if sultanas will work. Oh, there's one. And let's pop in this one. There we go. All right, let's see if our sultanas, there's one of our sultanas rising to the surface there and back down again. That was really quick. So this is a really fun experiment for you to have a try with at home. All you need is some carbonated water or lemonade or whatever you've got and a few items. So have a go, see what floats, see what sinks, see how buoyant you can make certain items just using carbon dioxide. And it's lots of fun to watch. Those things are having a party in there. So this is just one of the many different activities that we've got happening on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. So make sure that you subscribe and like our page and uh, join with us with all the other activities that we've got going on. And we hope to see you again really soon. Bye.